you know, I've been in several intensive outpatient programs and it was nothing like this. You go in and you go home. You come back and you go home and it's the same thing over and over. And then like after two weeks, they, you're out, they kick you out. Detox is three days. Um, you know, three days is, was never enough for me to get off anything. It wasn't even out of my system. But at Memorial, once it was out of my system, then, then they set me into like a phase one where I would go through intensive therapy, from what I thought, then the medication management. Um, you know, it wasn't just showing up, going to group, going home. You know, there was people there in the afternoon, there was people th at night. Um, the medication management, the doctor listens. You know, she, she understands addiction and depression, anxiety, all those, those orders. So I've never been in, I've been in a lot of programs and I've never been in a program like this one. It, it saved my life. And I know other people that it has saved their life. Well, I came um, into the program in June. Um, I was basically um, in a very bad way. Um, strung out, I guess, um, addict, alcoholic, and um, felt like I wanted to die, but I couldn't. And I came into the program through Memorial Hospital in June, and I struggled for a couple of months, you know, couldn't really stay sober, um, just put on the medication. but. Memorial stood by me. The people there, um, they, you know, they didn't give up on me. And, and if they had of, then I probably would have given up on myself. I have two small children, um, you know, so they have their mom back. So the program's basically saved my life. I was addicted since I was like 15. I started drinking um, and then at like 17, 18, I was full blown doing um, anything, you know, heroin, crack, what, you know, everything that there was to do, anything that would make me feel different. Um, and I did that up for a few years. Um, I ended up getting sober at 23 for like five years. Uh, stopped making meetings, stopped doing the things that it was suggested for me to do to stay sober. So I went back out and um, it was very hard for me to come back in. I, I struggled for three years um, on and off, you know, and it really got bad. Heroin, you know, IV heroin, um, smoking crack, you know, but my main thing is opiates. You know, my, my main problem is op I'm addicted to opiates. When I was younger, um, I had sort of like a muscular problem, you know, um, and the doctors at like 15 and 16 were giving me like Oxycontin, hard narcotics at, at 16 years old, um, you know, and I, I was on them and then I found out that they made me feel different. They made me feel good, you know, I had energy, I could go and um, so then I slowly started taking more and more. The pills didn't, weren't enough, so then it became the heroin and on the streets trying to get them, you know, so. And then the doctor cut me off, of course. Yeah, I was talking to someone at a, a meeting the other day and um, they actually said that um, you don't know what you're gonna get in, in your drugs today. You don't know what they're gonna put in heroin. I know they're putting fentanyl. Um, I actually know someone that, that got caught with the fentanyl and the heroin. So obviously he's mixing them together. Um, so that is, can kill people, but when you're, when I was strung out, I wasn't thinking about dying. You know, I just needed to get the next fix. And um, but I've had friends that have died and overdosed. You know, in front of me, um, and it's it's instant. They they do a shot and they're dead. Um, you know, it, you don't know what you're getting today. Before it, you could buy heroin or you could buy, you know, crack or whatever. But now, they don't. People are just doing it. Drug drug dealers are just doing it to sell it. I had been at Memorial years ago. I actually got sober the first time when I got sober for five years, I went through Memorial. I moved away um, and I came back this time and I found out through an AA meeting through people that work at Memorial, they said they're starting a new program. It was new. Um, I met with a couple of people. They said, you know, everything, we're trying to work it out. Everything's new. But at that point, I didn't really care. I mean, I felt like, yes, it was hard, but I was on my way to staying sober. I messed up here and there and did a few things, you know, on and off, but it was never the full blown, once I came in here in June, I never went back to the full blown addiction that I was in. So, you know, and then I moved from there, once I kind of got stable into their intensive um, outpatient program, which was seven days a week. And I did that for like three weeks. Um, so, and then I, I stepped down to like five days a week, three days a week, and now I'm doing therapy once a week. So it's an all-inclusive package. It's, it's like, you, they don't just bring you in and, and get you off and detox you. It's, it's all-inclusive, everything. It's a huge difference. I was actually on Suboxone for 13 years, um, you know, for the pain. They thought that that would help with, with pain because I couldn't take narcotics. 
um, but I was going to the doctor and several times I, I mean, I got up to a point they were prescribing me for a day, you know, which I found, I found out now that doesn't even do anything. Like it, your receptors are, it doesn't do anything. You're just wasting, um, you know, and I started abusing Suboxone. So it's a huge difference because now I'm on a very low dose. Um, you know, I split it morning and night. I get to come to therapy. Um, I have people that are, you know, drug testing me, things that, that keep me, it's like a safety net. It's a safety net to be able to know that they're there, um, that I can come to them, God forbid something happen, and I did relapse. I could come to them with no judgment and they would be there. Seeing a doctor, you go in once a month for 10 minutes, you get your medication and you go home and you go back in a month. And it got to the point where I was only going every three months. So it, it's, not, it's not a management that I need as an addict.